Well, of all the hilarious things, I've ended up in completely the wrong place. Check out the map. So, now I was meant to go here, but I've ended up there. Haven't I done well? Anyway, I'm going to backtrack. Um, there's a few places I want to stop along here that I saw, which are pretty cool. And then we'll head back over to there. Um, I won't record most of it because it's all the same trip that you saw coming in. But I'll stop in places. Oh, a quick update. That dude towing the boat just said uh, apparently I am in the right direction. I've just got to hang the first left up here. Um, and it takes us down to a shed that's got an old abandoned airplane and stuff like that. And so let's go have a look. Well, here's a trick for young players. Don't trust the maps. Look at that. It's a fuselage of an old plane. Isn't that cool? Funky. Buzzy is that? Can't quite get in because it's a bit dangerous. But yeah. well, let's see how dangerous. <laughs> cool.
so it's a bit of a bit of old motor. Right. So that's the inside. A bit of a motor. So it was scrapped in 1960. Salvaged by the Royal New Zealand Air Force. That's it there. Ah. So it's a Sunderland NZ4111, which is a short Sunderland Mark V. Information there. How cool is that? So apparently, if we carry on, I can work out how to get out of here. Um, there's a seal colony. Not much into seals, but what the heck? On we go. we go that way. So back into this.
this is the Mission Station ruins. The ruins are on the coast by a large tree, go through the gate and then down the hill. There you go. Let's do that. drive any further so we'll go for a little bit of a walk. Now check up a hat. Uh, yeah. Okay. Oh that way. There was um just past just up there Department of Conservation people. So that's really cool. So let's have a wander. Oh dude this place is cool beautiful light. I'd love to do some shooting down here. If only I came with a model. <laughs> hmm. Anyway. There we go. Point Munning Conservation thingamabob. see any seals. Probably the wrong season. Seals. Sleeping seals can be hard to spot. That's nice. Uh, so First recorded sealing was 1792. Hmm. 
Oh, I just thought that was before anyone discovered New Zealand, but uh, who knows? Um, oh, okay. Born from the convict trade to Australia. Okay, <laughs> that explains it. Moriori and Puhina. Ancient schist. Funnily enough, that's the room I'm staying in at the hotel. Life in slow motion, divers, blah, 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 blah. Anyway. Now, I'm guessing it's the wrong season. Still nice here, though. Wow. down there. We're getting a little bit closer but this is a bit, a bit treacherous around here for me. Just wearing normal sneakers. Let's have a look. Seals. Hello, hey, he's looking at me now. Grey seals over there. Oh, there's quite a few over there. How cool is that? Hello. <laughs> they pop their heads up to have a look. That's really funny. They make cool noises. Get them all splashing off. Yes, I can see why they'd like it here. It's, it's beautiful, sheltered, fresh water while the water comes in. And they're doing their own thing. Alright, that's enough. Thank you, seals. Tell you what, the sign said it's an easy 500 meter walk, <laughs> but you gotta walk back, so I don't tell you. And it's uphill, <sighs> the sun's there, but look, truck's just there. There's even a toilet. Let's go check it out, just for no other reason. Oh. It is pretty here though. Oh yeah. Two shells, not three shells, but that's alright. And uh Yeah, good old fashioned long drop. And you keep them locked. If there's no one in there just to stop the predators. 
getting in. Yeah. Anyway, that was a seal colony. Back to the car, back to mainland, or back through the main farm, I should say. There's the car. All right. So back in the car, um, I've got to drive back. It's like an hour's drive. I won't record it, but um, there's a few stops I'll make along the way, and I'll grab some shots of those. So we're just passing through the farm again. Turn the music down. That's the front of the plane. I just met the um, people, they're <laughs> really lovely. I'll um, get some more of uh, further down. That doesn't make much sense, but anyway. I just hopped out for a minute. <clears throat> just want to show you this. like. All of these old vehicles just wrecked up here. Pretty cool. On we go. Well, made it to um, a little town called Hyang Ora, which if you look on the map here, um, we were we were over here, a uh, seal colony, that's uh, just there. And now, I'm here. Just going to have a little look around the town before we head back and go back uh, this direction, the way we came. It's pretty cool. These rocks are awesome. So I was just looking around here. Um, small ruins down here. I don't know what it is, but it's cool looking. Quite a cool jetty with a crane thing on it, but I think it's closed off. And look. Tsunami Warning Evacuation Zone. You're in a Tsunami Evacuation Zone. Alright. How cool is that? Well, that old building's got something running. Could be the town generator by the looks of things. That's right. Fuel tank. Just going to have a quick look at this. It is fenced off, so I'm not going to go in there. I'll just stop here, take a photo, and carry on. Man, this water is beautiful. There we go. Look at that. Beautiful. Fishing stuff. again okay so we've traveled back a wee way we were up here and we've come down to here now the map shows that there is a road but this is all private land but right where we are now according to this book is right oh no, I've lost it why does it not surprise me no here it is <coughs> a JM Barker uh, National Historic Reserve Walk right here. That's right behind me. Not that you can see, but you'll see in a second. So let's go for a walk.
go and look at this cabin and then the hut behind it. Looks like it's properly locked, so we'll just leave it alone. Ah, just a gate latch. Leave things as you find them. There's a plaque here. J.M. Barker, Papu Historic Reserve. This reserve was donated by the Barker Brothers Limited in 1980 to Public Lands and Survey before Department of Conservation. picnic area, the sign that goes to toilet, there's another toilet, <laughs> please shut the door, you've seen these before, yeah. well there's um, copay, cornucopia is something or other is So this is why um, Department of <laughs> start that again. Department of Conservation was out here. They're doing a lot of good work. So let's have a look. A path of peace. Here we go. So Moriori first settled on Ikohu about 800 years ago and adopted a distinctive peaceful society known as Nunuku's Law, uh, which forbid killing and war. That's all good, however, in contact with the outside world is inevitable. In 1791, the English Brigham Chatham, <laughs> sorry, the English Brig Chatham arrived, followed by Ngāti Tama and Ngāti Motua, Motonga. I'm not good with names, anyway. In 1835, the population declined rapidly as a result of introduced diseases, killing and slavery. Uh, despite provocation, Moriori held fast to the convent of peace and it remained unbroken for more than 500 years. <laughs> Something the world could do with today. For the past 30 years, well, oh, you can read it. <laughs> you can just hit pause and read it. That's certainly some interesting history though. Hapupu was only one of two national historic reserves in New Zealand. It's 32 hectare reserve, a tapu sacred place for the Moriori, was once part of Kianga Ora Station. It was gifted to the nation by the Baka Brothers in 79. Very nice, thank you very much. Keeping our Arakao Mamori alive. Please respect the groves and sacred, absolutely. Alright, let's have a look. Oh, good, it's only a short walk. <laughs> or a loop walk, Hanson Bay Beach walk again. Okay, let's go for a nosy.
is back to where we came in. I'm doing this, uh, very difficult to do this and hold a GoPro. Yeah. I feel like I have success. Managed to do that and hold the GoPro. <laughs> Good stuff.
Yes, I am. I have to pound down some water when I get back in the car. windy just a quick stop on the way here look at that that is one beautiful coastline tell you what all this walking is making my knees starting to play up oh well grin and bear it Chatham Islands well, at least the main island of Chatham Islands. It is pretty out here. Uh, someone's built something out of driftwood. This beach is wonderful. Far out. Definitely a ton of footprints in the sand, so this tide hasn't come in. Wow, that's really soft. To the car. Just at the beach, this is the thingy stuff again. Yeah, pause to read that. We're visiting a reserve, so 1970s, it was covered in a thick bush until the 1970s. Grayson killed it off and they put it all back again. Well, that's um. That's where we are. So we were travelling all over there. Now we're heading back this way. Uh, let's have a look in here. It looks like it's um, pretty cool. Tells a good story. I like it. Very cool. Hey, and yet again, toilets over there. Oh, another one down here. Oh, you can't go wrong, there's toilets everywhere these days. Huh. Well, what they were telling me back in the, um, in the town is that the Chatham's got it pretty hard during COVID. And, um, but then it turned out pretty good because New Zealand was in lockdown we couldn't travel overseas and the Chathams technically isn't overseas ha huh, that's cool it's uh it's still within New Zealand no passport required so I guess they made the most of it a lot of they were saying a lot of people came here as their escape which is fine, you know, you gotta do what you gotta do to keep yourself going. So 
so yeah that's the story so the Chathams is gearing up for a bigger tourism industry they've got a ways to go but they're doing a really good job it looks like it's controlled it would be super sad to see the Chathams go the way of Queenstown and I watched that for five years as Queenstown started to implode people coming in wanting to make a quick dollar ruining the town and it still is today and that was back in 85 to 89 gotta hit the road gotta keep going oh i've um i've come from over there and there's a um a bit of a walk on a boardwalk scenic male scenic Oh, Ocean Mail Scenic Reserve. I really need to learn to read. Wetlands Walk, 15 minutes return. Park the truck there. Let's hop on the sport walk and have a little bit of a walk. so diverse that it, uh, it's really impressive trucks over there all right back to the truck That was a good walk. 
On we go. here for a minute because you need to check out what's going on out there let's turn this off so we've got a bit of peace and quiet let's go out there it's going to be windy <coughs> beardy man falling out of a truck let's go down here vehicles though which is kind of cool I don't know how much you're gonna hear of this <laughs> gotta admit that water looks quite nice bitch it's freaking cold though
this on an island 800 kilometers off the east coast of Christchurch. Very nice. So I'm having a think. That's where I am at the moment. Um, that there is Port Hutt, which is um, on the tourist guide right there, which is kind of where I want to go. So it's not taking too long to do these drives so I'm actually going to go to Port Hutt and then I'll call that a day. I'll um, head back to town which is the big splodge there and then I've done most of the major roads apart from the ones that I can't do uh, because they're private land. So next stop Port Hutt. Am I here? Still pretty though. Okay, we're on our way to Port Hutt. Um, let's do this in, it's not slow-mo really, is it? It's smooth motion. Anyway, let's do this. We are at Port Hutt. I've just parked up. 
some cool things to do in an old rusty boat and a $10 fee. There you go, paid. That's all good. It's lovely here. The map is a bit misleading, but yeah. So let's see. So welcome to Port Hutt, Whangaroa Harbour. Right. Also known as Port Hutt, 1840, William Hutt. Mm -hmm. You can pause and read all this stuff though. There's a big uh, goober goober of that. There's an old rusted ship. Noble ships to rustic sculptures. So this is the Thomas Corral, built in 1919, engaged in fishing, converted to commercial trawler in 45, and the BDT is World War II, scuttled in 2012. Okay, so this is the BDT. Oh, there's two of them. Let's have a look here. And toilets if you need. Jeep. Ah. Ah, it's still on what Jeeps do. Oh, that's a classic creature. We might be in private property, but that's awesome. How awesome is that? Uh, I'm super careful about my knee.
too cool. Look at that. I'll throw some stills in here. That's it. Time to head back. Well, it's been a pretty good day of exploring. The batteries almost died on my phone and on the GoPro. And this is a great spot to end up with the two ships in this quiet little bay. I'm going to head back to the hotel. You've seen that video before. <laughs> and chill out and uh, see what I'm going to do tomorrow. So there's a bit of context here. So Port Hut's here. All the rest of this is private land that I can't get onto. So it is just what it is. But that's fine. I've done all the public roads. Yeah. Now it's just home time. Back to the red spot. Yeah, I am tired. Gotta clean up, do a whole lot of video editing. Yesterday's was pretty big, today's will be pretty big. Tomorrow's Thursday, my last day here. I fly out Friday morning, so um, I don't know. Don't know what I'll do Thursday, maybe go on some walks and stuff, but we'll see. Thanks for, um, for hanging around today. I've got hiccups. Thanks for joining me in the Chatham Islands.